Hello, this is Jaden Sofa, and we're here with another installment of Deep Questions. We got some new faces here today. If you guys want to introduce yourselves, hi, my name is Damian Rainey, host of. What do I host, man? It's been a long day, y'all. Uh, S and R, which means sit and relax, and I'm so excited to be here. And I'm back again, Max Feltis, and I see y'all again. And I'm Drew Pauly, and this is my first time here, and I don't know what's going on. Wow. Hello. So today we're going to be debating uh, something kind of new. We've never covered this before. Uh, we've talked about food categorization, but now we're going to talk about kind of the definition of what you are, I guess. Um, so Very deep. the question deep. is... If you weigh 99 pounds and you eat one pound of nachos, does that make you 1% nacho? Does anyone want to start with an opening argument? Say that one more again. <laughs> if you weigh 99 pounds. Okay, if I weigh 99 pounds. And you eat one pound of nachos. And I, weigh, and I eat one pound of nachos. Now you weigh 100 pounds. Right. And one pound of that is all nachos. Uh-huh. Are you 1% nacho? <laughs> I'm 1% body fat. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> uh, uh, um, I, I'll say no. I'll say no. I don't know why, but I'll just say no because, I mean, I, I, mm, I don't know how to explain it, but I, 1% nacho, no, no. I mean, it, you are what you eat. Wow. I mean, like, it, it's, 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 it's you now. It's in you, and it's part of you. So it adds yeah. to the 100 pounds. So would it not be the 1%? When you step on that scale, it says you're 1% nacho because it's there. It's 1% of you. But don't forget about the other wow. things you ate. You know? Like, you know, even though you might eat the 1%, I mean, the nacho, what about the hamburger? What about the, the cheese? What about the, the sweet tea? What about the, you know? Oh, yeah, all of it, yeah. I, it's part of you. It's who you are. iffy. Like this percent breakfast, this percent lunch, this percent dinner. <laughs> yeah, but, like, I think you made the point earlier, uh, Drew, about, like, like it doesn't stay in you forever. So, I mean, if it's it, just well, it part of you. It can if you don't work it off. <laughs> Let's hope you do, but, yeah. <laughs> Got to hit the treadmill. Oh, oh, yeah. Because then you, you know, you get that percentage muscle, too, and all that. Yeah. I mean, because it can turn into muscle and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially with the proteins, all that fun stuff. I got you. Yeah, I'm not that smart about science, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't stay the same. <laughs> it's like you got to not just sit inside uh, you. Nope. <laughs> uh-huh. Drew, you said you are going to bring the scientific angle to this. Okay. Bring it. So, so let, me, let me put it this way. With with atoms in your in in periodic table, all oh that fun stuff. God. You know, carbon. Yeah, yeah, we're going there. Uh huh. So they their the mass, their their molar mass is not just that one carbon atom. It's every carbon. It's carbon thirteen, carbon fourteen, and then it's percentage. Okay. So if you in your percentage, you you take your compound of you, and then you add nachos to that. The nachos would be adding mass to that, so it would be a percentage of your body weight. So I'd argue, yeah, nachos are that 1%. Scientifically, yeah, I think the science agrees. So it is true you are what you eat. Damien, do you still disagree? Mm. So you're trying to say you're, you're not defined by like what makes you up, right? I, uh, 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 I no. This is really bad of me. I really don't know. Like, I've been so tired all day, and now y'all making me think. Um, let's see. I, let's see. What What nachos. did you have to eat earlier? I had eggs, grits, sausage, hash browns. Okay, so you're at breakfast right now. I <laughs> am. I had. I am. Uh, I had. Um, <laughs> let's see. What else I had? I had a uh, hamburger and macaroni and cheese and more sweet tea and, oh, a lot of different things. But does that mean I'm 1% of all that? If that adds up to the 1%. I For say, all we know, you're like I'm 70%. sticking to no. I'm sticking to no, <laughs> and I don't know the reason why, but I'm sticking to <laughs> no. Well, you just heard the science of it. I think Drew explained it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sticking to Very them. badly, but <laughs> I'm sticking to them. Better than me. <laughs> but it does come out of you eventually. 
eventually. So it's what eventually. inside you count as part of what you are if it's not like attached. So it's like a temporary part of you. I get well. Uh huh. Like even if it is attached, like if you tape a stick to your arm, is that stick now a part of you? Mm, no, it's not like. Well, it's, I, I'd say it's different because the taco, there's going to be parts of it that are going to be f- like they're going into you. They're going to stay in you forever or not forever, but until they're used or expended. And I'd argue that that permanently stays. Now, not all of it stays, so it might be less than 1% of it, but you've, at the moment yeah. you consume it, it yeah. becomes part of At the of moment you. you consume it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't deny the science. <laughs> science. Science. That's science. A, that was a sh- that was some music. Interesting. Yeah. So, uh, if you were to weigh a hundred pounds, and then you ate another hundred pounds of nachos. Yes. Yeah, so here's my favorite part of the argument. Then you are two hundred pounds. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you are half. <laughs> Nacho. You, you have diabetes. No, you are 200 pounds. If you are 100 pounds and you ate 100 pounds of nachos, that means you ate too many nachos. That means you, you are a nacho two, person. You are 200 pounds. It means you have a problem. You need, you, you need to do something to lose that weight because you weigh 200 pounds now. You were 100. You were a stream bean. Now you're not a stream bean no more. You're the whole pea in a pod. Okay? Being a stream bean, nacho problem anymore. Exactly. Ha <laughs> ha, nacho problem. Ha 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 ha, segue. Okay, <laughs> so now... I'm in great day in the morning. Yeah. All right. Well, you're probably dead, but if you eat more than your weight in a food, are you now majority that food? It's called yes. a, It's called obesity. Obesity. <laughs> obesity. <laughs> in It's called diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you eat more than your weight uh, and something you are... I'd argue that, that beyond having many, many, many problems now <laughs> with having eaten your entire body weight and... Normal person would have lots whatever, of problems with that. You'd have a lot of problems. <laughs> I mean... If you I, love it that much, maybe. I mean, I... Mm, I mean, I... Mm. <laughs> I mean, if you're 100 pounds, you're 100 pounds, right? You, you ask this question. I don't know why you're asking these great questions. But anyway, <laughs> really you're 100 question. pounds, and you, you say, what, you eat, what if you eat 100 pounds more of what you weigh? Yeah. So you're 200 pounds. Yes. But half of that comes from the nachos. If, if you eat just slightly more than half, are you majority nachos? No. It's fat. So it's stored nacho. fat. It's not nacho. The it's moment stored. you eat it. No, it's stored it's fat. And then once you go work out or you try to lose some of that fat, those enzymes will eat up the lipids. Yeah, yeah. it's a process. It's a process. So it is not 1% of anything. It's stored fat of something, and you just need to get rid of it. Okay, so you're saying once it changes form, it's no longer what it was. And once either way, it, either way, nachos. exactly. Either way, it's going to come out. <laughs> either way, either yeah, by but, sweat or by something else. That I'm not going to say live on the air, but either way, it's going to go out. What goes in okay, will but, come out. <laughs> like so, what if what if your digestive system isn't working? It's not changing. Okay, the food, okay, let's okay, 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 okay. For those it's of you lis- <laughs> for those of you listening right now, please do not try to eat something during no, no, this no, no, broadcast. No, we are Thank not. You. We are not. Please don't try this at home. Yeah. Yep. Don't try it anyway. It's dangerous. Don't. It's da- very dangerous. Yes. Could kill you. This is not your problem. <laughs> <laughs> you got so, another. You got another dilemma. You got another problem for us to solve. <laughs> or another debate. You guys want to move on to something new? Let's go for it. Let's go. Sure. All right. So, with a skyscraper. No, right? dear God. <laughs> Here we go. At the outside of the room, it can be like the entire wall, right? So, is it a wall or a window? Yes. Say that one more again. <laughs> so you've, you've seen a skyscraper. I've right? seen a skyscraper like before. In New York or something. Like Empire State. They got these giant windows that make up the whole wall. Is it still a window or is it the wall? It's windows. And the windows are the wall. Yeah. I'd I'd, I'd argue the, that it's just a wall. I think 
if you look at a regular building that is brick <laughs> with windows inside of it, <laughs> and the windows make up outside the building. However, there should be some special type of material made with those windows or those mirrors on the wall. I mean, on the on the outside or the perimeter of the building. Uh, that kind of makes it like a wall type of material, if you get what I'm saying. Make it sturdy enough. So, like, let's say if a wind blows, the glass is not going to shatter because it's made of some type of material that is built inside of the wall sort of, quote-unquote, because skyscrapers are not built by brick. They're built by steel. If you think about it, the outs, the interior, the, the infrastructure or the inside of the, of the whole thing is made by steel. And then on top of the steel is laid by brick. And then on top of that, then on top of that, come on in. And I'm sorry, I don't know why I just said come on in live on the air. Y'all don't know who's who's trying to come in here. Yeah, he's very dear to my heart, flicking me off. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so I think it's windows. I think it's windows made out of, made out of a uh, certain material that kind of comes up or kind of looks like a wall. Okay, so is it a window that is doing the job of a wall, or is it a wall that's doing the job of a window? Wall doing job of job of the window. Okay, so it just happens to, you know, be doing that. Yeah. So if um, so like several walls have windows in them, right? Is that part of the wall? Then? <laughs> I repeat that. So like a general typic hello. Uh, <laughs> special guest is in here now. Uh, Meet and greet. Saloma logo. You want to say hi? Of course, you want to say hi. Ladies and gentlemen, the name is Santos Pagan. you got a great group junior. of boys uh, hosting this radio show. Yes, the junior as well. I'm about to go home, eat some eat some stuff, because I'm hungry. Have a blessed day. Love eat, these boys. Eat nachos, a lot of them. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey. <laughs> we got a project for you. <laughs> yeah. Experiment time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what I was saying was, um, so a typical wall, like in your house or something, has windows in it. Are the windows part of the wall? I'd say that they're more they're they're only windows in that situation because they're put there to serve as a window. But with the size, sky, uh, I can't speak English skyscraper thing, I'd I'd say they're a wall because they're just only functioning as a window. In that instance, they're they're put there to serve as a wall. I agree. Yeah. And like when they're on a skyscraper, the like back to the presented percentages. The per- majority of percentage of it is, you know, there as a wall. So I mean, like, if you're, if you're like your your own house and you got a small window there, you know, surrounded by a wall, only a small per- per- percentage. I can't speak either. Percentage is <laughs> window. So I mean, like, that makes it a window. All right. All right. I think uh, we agree. We're all in agreement. I think we're gonna go to our first music break here. So stay tuned, uh, and we'll be back. Hello, and we are back uh, with deep questions. So uh, we've been talking a lot about what defines uh, what a thing is. So I'm going to ask you guys, hypothetically, you have an axe, right? And over the years, you're using it. If eventually the, the head breaks and you have to replace the head of the axe, you do that. And then eventually the, the wooden handle breaks and you replace that. If you replace both parts of the axe, is it the same axe? No. Totally different. It's like so you got different parts and all. I mean, like originally, like you had you had the axe, so you lost the head, you, you replaced it. It's just replacement parts now. Okay, so answer. So ask the question again. So ah, you, there you go. Okay, go. No, you're fine now. Go ahead, Chris. All right, so we had one of the mics off. Yeah, it was yours. Okay. That's not good. All right, go for it. So I if you off have this entire uh, time? yeah, he was off the entire time. That's Folks, a, if you're just now tuning in, it's a little rough. <laughs> you're just Welcome. now tuning in. Okay, you. I if mean, you have, uh, yeah, I'm if you have an axe, oh. and uh, you replace the handle here. of okay. the axe, okay, uh-huh. and then later you replace the the axe part of the axe, uh-huh. is it still the same axe? 
It's a tool no matter what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry, y'all didn't like that answer. Okay, <laughs> wrong. Um, I'm just a guest here. I'm not. I, I just, you know, I'm. I'm not part of the show. But anyway, I, it's it's a tool either way. I mean, if you got the handle of the axe, I don't know why. Why? What? Where is this question coming from? That's my question. That's my question. <laughs> the deep to internet. You. Where is these questions that you're coming up? Where is it coming from? Uh, most of them come from the internet. Oh, okay. Well. Okay, I guess you get the answers from there, too. Um, no. <laughs> Completely okay. our intellectual brains. Oh. No, no, no. Sure. No, well, yeah, no, nah, okay, okay. We'll just go with that. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that then. All right. Yeah. It's a tool. I think it's a tool. I, I, don't, I don't... But is it the same tool? Yes. How? How? It's put together. But is it the same as yes. when it was originally? No, it's the same tool. You put together. It's the same parts. No? <sighs> <laughs> you make me want to drink this hot chocolate right here. Drink it. <laughs> and give me some. I'm hungry. I'm Actually, this is white chocolate mocha. But in a way, even better. It is. Um, I shouldn't. I don't know why I'm here in this show. But in, no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, the question is, why wouldn't you be? <laughs> I don't know. Another question. What about you, Drew? Uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and say that. It's not the same, simply off the basis that you've changed every piece of it. It's no longer the same axe. Yeah. But it's part of the axe, though. It's, it's not the same axe. <sighs> All right, going back. You, you mentioned a scientific point earlier at the start. <laughs> I don't care about no science. <laughs> look, 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 look. I don't know what science look, goes look, on look, on look, axe. Wait, wait. Look, I don't no. care about no science, okay? All I know is from my terminology about an axe, okay? You got the, part, you got the handle of the axe. And you got the thing that cuts through things, okay? The metal part. The metal part, okay? I don't know what that thing is called. The That's, wedger finger. Yeah, that <laughs> part, all right? If you take all those things apart and make something else new out of it, it was, it was an axe, now it's something else, which was part of the axe. Well, well, sure, but, like, it's it's no longer those original pieces. Oh, my, y'all making me mad up in the <laughs> here's, here. here's what I was going to say. I should have went back so, to bed. <laughs> uh, I can't remember exactly what it is, but all the atoms in your body are something completely replaced after, what like, seven years or something. What does atoms have to do with that? Look, so, I, I what? don't know like what that. science <laughs> there is has for to do with an axe. Are you still the same person if every part of your body is changed? Well, great. Day. No, 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 look. I like this. Well, see, I like that idea. With your basis. You say every cell changes, but technically your body is a nervous system controlling different parts, and nervous cells do not replace themselves. So technically, you never change. Okay, I'm not in bio. I'm not in bio 101. I'm not in chem 105, <laughs> 7, 9, 10, 11. Neither am I. <laughs> All I know is is that whatever you take apart and make something new out of it, it came from the original beginning, from the original design. Okay, so like for example, this microphone that you that you guys, you three guys see here, not those of you listening, you see this microphone. If I take this part, and make a rocket ship out of it, I don't know how, but you would say, hey, that was the microphone, which is now a rocket ship, which was the microphone. So still, it was the microphone. Well, well, sure, I agree with you, but what I'm saying is, we have the head of the axe and the 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 handle of the axe. Okay. We throw away the the head. The okay. head's gone. Head's we gone. get a completely different head, looks different, but it's still an axe head. We put it on. And then we take the the handle, we uh-huh. throw that away. We yeah. get a completely different one, put that one on. Yeah. Is that the same axe? It is still a axe, but is it the same axe as before? No, because you yeah, threw away yeah. the old parts. We're in agreement. We're all in agreement. <laughs> but at what point does it become not the same axe? Because like because you got different parts. Once, but once if you just no take the head off and replace different the design, head, different is it same, still the same, same tool? Okay. <laughs> it's defined the same, but in its Lord being, have mercy. it is different. Y'all guys, I don't know. Why did I come by and visit y'all? Great day. This is called morning. deep questions. <laughs> I don't know. You were here before we got here. I was here before y'all. And I was just <laughs> chilling. I didn't know y'all had a show. There ain't no I... chilling here, man. <laughs> okay. Next question. <laughs> Next question, please. <laughs> Next question. Uh, we're not going to, unless you guys have anything more to say, we're just going to end it. But Really? You guys have any final closing things? I got to go to a thing soon. Um. Uh, I just want to say to hello to everybody you know who this is talking to you. This your cousin steps on twice for move, Damien. 
I'm on Tuesdays at 5 o'clock, 5 p.m., um, sometimes in a late night hour, uh, I come up in here. Um, hope y'all have a great rest of your one for Friday. Try to stay dry. Try to stay warm. Don't be bucking the weather, okay? In other words, don't try to get no cold, no flu, because it's going around. Go get you some white chocolate mocha. Yeah, white chocolate mocha. I highly recommend Here it. Here at Starbucks, conveniently located. <laughs> In the Jackson, this is not an advertisement. <laughs> in the Jackson Library. Not on, sponsored. In the, Jack, in the Jackson uh, Library on the second floor, which is the main lobby. All right. With that, we're going to uh, leave. Um, <laughs> we're going to start celebrating spooky season early. With what song? You'll see. What do you mean early? It's all-